we're going to bring you an exciting program about some special things we do besides the normal hard, and I do mean hard, everyday college prep curriculum. And we're going to talk, introduce our guests to you right now, and they're going to talk about some, as I mentioned, some special things we do in our after school program. And we'll introduce our staff member first, Todd Beard, who is our IAF computer teacher, and some other things that he does. We'll let him introduce himself right now. Mr. Beard, say good morning to our audience. Uh, good morning, Flint. I'm Todd Beard. I am the technology teacher at the International Academy of Flint, and also. Um, part of a lot of after-school programs that we have here at the school. Uh, I like to do the Lego robotics and taking that to the next step with the high school and the first league and the our partnership with Carmen Ainsworth Schools for the Big Mo 314 team. Uh, also, I like to do some of the video production classes. Uh, we do music with guitar lessons last year and we did uh, we're getting into music production this year and starting our own pet band to uh, facilitate the basketball program. And may I say amen to that? Yes, it would be a great <coughs> thing, a new thing. I'm excited always to start these new things. Great. We'll hear more from you because we're going to ask you as well to ask some of our real special guests right. some questions about the stuff that you've been going on in that after-school program. We have a young lady in sixth grade looking right at me right now, Valentina Godbolt. Miss Godbolt, how do you do? Good morning. And would you like to greet our audience and just say hi? Hi, Flint. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Mom, we're so proud that you're here with her. I'm waving at Mom right now. Miss Trent, so glad to see you. Thank you for bringing your wonderful daughter here. And we have Miss Serena Thornton. Miss Thornton, can you say a little something to our audience? Hello. Okay. <laughs> a word, a lady, a few words. Temporarily, we trust, okay? And Miss Thornton, thank you for being here. We might be calling uh, Mrs. Thornton up for a, a brief word. She's breathing hard over there right now. <laughs> we got brave students and, and, and scaredy pants parents, but we're going to go ahead and do the best we can. And I just almost forgot, Mr. Beard, about Jerry Brown Lacey. Jerry is our 11th grade student. Jerry, because Jerry's sitting a little bit away from the table, and I think the camera's focusing on him right now. Jerry, good morning to you. Tell the folks good morning. Good morning, Flint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, there's a little gas in that tank, I can tell that, so we'll have a little fun with that. Okay, Mr. Beard, maybe we could, uh, you mentioned the Lego program, I think that's for our primarily what grade level there? Uh, those are for our middle school students. Okay, yep. and why don't you kind of explain what the Lego program is, what we've been done. I saw your project, I couldn't even understand it, <laughs> so I don't know how these young ladies can. Talk about that and then ask them a couple of questions about their involvement, sir. Well, as part of, uh, part of the first program, uh, starting off with as early as elementary school, uh, children get involved with technology and the world around them, and facilitating that is the product Legos. Uh, they use Legos and other technologies to build uh, solutions to problems in their current day. Mm -hmm. And the innovator of this, uh, Dean Kamen, uh, had an idea that you know, some of these problems that are coming up right now, you know, they're going to be solved by the children of the future and, or by the children in the future, and that they needed to start looking at these cre problems creatively mm -hmm. and working in teams to figure out how to solve things such as global warming. And uh, just recently we did a thing on smart moves, which was thinking about transportation solutions. And every year they come out with a new challenge. Uh, for the teams to try to uh, incorporate into their projects. Uh, it's about 25% is, is robotics, 25% being presentation, 25% being teamwork, and 25% being innovation. And now, over those you're, things... You're talking, for the audience that may not know, we actually go into competition against other schools who have teams as well. And their team and our team are both working on the same problem, the same project and then we are judged by how efficiently and effectively we go about solving the problem. And the presentation means that our kids have to tell the judging audience what this is all about and how this came together. Am I kind of on the right track here? That's, that's correct, Art. This is not just uh, just a local thing, not just a regional thing. This is not just a national thing. This is an international competition. Uh, oh. Countries all over the world participate in this. Students all over the world speaking many different languages are all 
brought together by technology, engineering, and science, but they also have to use all of their other skills, reading, writing, arithmetic, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. be able to convey uh, the solutions to that problem that year. Now, Tom, I'm going to interrupt you. Do you know if any of the other Saba schools worldwide, because we have 72 of them, also participate in this program? Would you know that? Uh, I, <coughs> I am unaware of uh, they. They're, yep. I think I think I'll ask that question, that would be a good of, question. Our, of our management yeah. people. I, I didn't know that. I didn't want to throw you off, but no, it, it just might be curious. If someday our kids met with the kids from Saudi Arabia and worked on the project, right. competed against each other, that would be interesting. Um, why don't you go ahead and ask some of our young and beautiful guests a yeah. couple of questions about how they got involved in this, okay. or why, or whatever yeah. your question I'm might start be. I'm going to start with Valentina. Valentina, what, 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 what uh, excites you about LEGO Robotics? What's well, your favorite part? You get to make up your own robots, and you get to program them by yourself. And yeah. How about you, Sarita? You get to make them dance and um, talk. Make the robot dance? Mm -hmm. On the computer. Okay. So they're, they're programming. No, I I know I watched you. Do the, the you make the comp the the robot go left and go right and yeah. do a certain function. Yeah. And they they have to do the programming for that. Yeah, is this that is a, an autonomous robot where which means that we program it, we give it the parameters that uh, when it reaches a certain point, what to do. Uh, we may take measurements and we record the, those measurements. We do the mm -hmm. math to figure out you know the distance traveled, mm -hmm. how what degree turn we need to make, okay. and stuff like that. And uh, when they grow get bigger into the first league. Uh, that's when they bring out the joysticks. Uh, they also have an autonomous part, but uh, then they get to build with actual aluminum, actual, uh, they're using uh, mills and lathes. That's high school age. That's the high school. And yeah. that's where Jerry Brown Lacey's going to come in. Yeah, that's where Jerry Brown comes okay. in. Yeah. All right. Now, of course, as, as you know, you mentioned the programming, you know, that, that clearly is a math application there. And to know about what these projects are, you know, if you're dealing with transportation, that's a sociological issue. Um, that's uh, so that you're what the project is all about is that applying basic skills that they're taught every day to f solving problems that uh, are facing uh, all of society so they're doing it at a minor scale of course and as they get more involved in this they may be able to think of some solutions to solve major problems eventually because this could be our science and math people of the future that's correct and not just science and math although it does focus upon that uh, the competition is really cross-curricular. So we okay. had to learn about social studies. We had to learn about um, just pre the, act, uh, the art of presentation. So more and more, it started out that it was the kids that were interested in math and science getting involved in these LEGO competitions. Mm -hmm. But being that that's only about 50% of the competition, we're starting to see a lot more people that are interested in the fine arts.